Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my absolute favorite apps for working while traveling. So when I travel and even when I work on a day to day basis from like a coffee shop or something, I typically have my iPad with me. And uh, you know, with how good the uh, iPhone and just smartphones in general have gotten recently and with uh, how thin laptops have gotten, I've been kind of struggling sometimes to find a use for my iPad. You know, I feel like, you know, it's this expensive piece of tech that I just don't really get to use that much. However, that all changed when I found out about an app called Duet Display. And what this app does is it actually turns your iPad into a secondary monitor for your laptop. And there's been a few apps that I've seen that do this sort of thing, uh, but typically they did it through Wi-Fi. And what I really loved about the Duet Display's offering is that it's actually done through the cable. So to me, that's the type of thing that would really help prevent lag. That's why I never really used any of the uh, Wi-Fi enabled apps that were available before, just because I can't imagine that if you're streaming a video or moving things around, that if it's through Wi-Fi, I imagine there's a, there's a strong chance that there's gonna be a lag. But uh, Duet Display, you know, which was developed by two ex-Apple engineers, up until now has worked seamlessly. And I'm using this with an older iPad. This is the iPad mini 2, the one that I've shown in many of my videos. So I imagine it can only work even better with newer versions of the iPad. But in general, this has been one of the best apps that, that I've used while traveling. It's always so nice to have an extra screen or a little bit of extra screen real estate when you're working from a small laptop screen. And uh, you know, it's become one of my go-tos and it's breathed a lot of new life into my old tablet. So I absolutely love using it. I'm excited to share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Duet Display app for iOS. So in order to get started with the app, the first thing you wanna do is go to duetdisplay.com where it'll take you to their homepage and you can just kind of see some videos on how the app works. But most importantly, you can go ahead and download the desktop app, which is one of the things you'll need in order to enable the Duet display. So as I mentioned a little bit earlier, you can use this for Mac or PC, which is really cool. So if you have an iPad, it doesn't matter which laptop or desktop you have. Downloading the app and installing takes doesn't take any time at all. And then once you finish your installation, what you're gonna see is an icon show up on your a toolbar at the top. Um, with, it looks like a little circle with a D on it. After you've installed the desktop app, you'll want to go to the iOS App Store and look for the Duet app. You're going to want to download it. It's going to cost about $15. And once it's installed, it's going to have an icon that looks just like this. As I mentioned earlier, one of the things that I really love about the Duet app is the fact that it uses a cable instead of Wi-Fi to allow you to extend your laptop display onto the iPad. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug in. You have to do that first before you activate the app. So because I am using a laptop that only has USB-C, I have my Aki uh, USB-C to USB 3.0 adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in on one end. And then just using a standard uh, lightning cable, go ahead and plug into the iPad as well. Once you've successfully plugged in your iPad, you'll want to activate the app. And it'll take a second, but once it's done doing its thing, it'll detect that it's connected to your PC and then it'll extend the display. And so you have a lot of options once the display is actually configured on what you want to do with it. You could mirror, I, per, I just like to extend. And so, you know, because I have a smaller version of the iPad, you know, I have the, uh, the uh, smaller iPad mini, there's not as much use that I could get out of, uh, you know, if I had a bigger iPad, I could probably do some editing work or open up two documents at once. I can open up two documents at once, but typically that's a little bit difficult with, with the smaller screen size. So it's nice for me mainly to just have things like Slack windows open if I wanna have my Twitter feed on the other side. If I really need to have a document open to look at it, I could have it there for reference. But as you can see, I can easily slide from one window to the other, there's no lag. Um, here I have iTunes open. And what I really like about this is that because it's connected to the wire, you can actually watch video on one side while you're working on something on the other side. As you can see, all the same features work. So if you do uh, mission control, you can see all your different windows on your two, two screens. So it really works just as is if you had an external monitor. So as I mentioned earlier, one of the things that I was most curious about when I first heard about this app was how well it could play video on my secondary screen. So if I was working and I had a movie on my laptop that I just wanted to watch on my iPad as I was working, or even if I wanted to kind of preview some video that I was editing or something like that, would I be able to play it without any significant lag? So what I've done here is I've brought up some, some of the video that I edited recently for the last review that I did, and I'm gonna put it on to the iPad, and then we're gonna view it through Duet Display and just see if there's, ever, if there's any actual lag. So as you can see, it plays you know, very clearly. There's no lag at all. 
it maintains its screen resolution, its speed, um, audio is still synced. So, it, you know, this is something that I do commonly when I have my iPad out and I'm just working with an external screen is I'll just watch some video or sometimes I'll have YouTube videos for research and I'll just play it on my second screen while I'm taking notes or something on the bigger screen. So, you know, it works really well. As you can see, it's still playing. There hasn't been any lag. And again, this is really one of the biggest benefits that I've seen of having, you know, that ability to plug into the computer and use that as your external display as opposed to having to use Wi-Fi. If, however, I'm not watching videos and I just want to just have folders open or, look, or be able to search through documents while I'm doing some, you know, web research for something on my computer, as you can see, you know, there hasn't been any real reduction in performance. You know, you can use every app that, that you want to use. This app would be especially useful for maybe people editing on Photoshop or Pixelmator. That's what the app that I have up here. So what I can do is I can leave my main canvas on the bigger laptop screen and then move kind of all my different palette selectors and tools and layers and things like that to the external screen so that I can leave most of the space on my larger laptop screen to actually editing and then selecting the tool sets on the smaller iPad screen. So that's really useful. In addition, if you do a lot of coding and uh, you know web design and things like that, I found that this is really useful. So for example, if you're using an app like Brackets, which is one of my favorite um, text editors for designing a website or working with CSS and HTML, it has a browser extension which allows you to preview the changes you're making. So as you're making code changes, those changes will show up in this kind of browser window that's popped up. So if I wanna have the browser on the smaller iPad screen and then have my code up on the bigger screen, I can be making changes and seeing in real time the different things that are being affected. So that's just another useful feature. And again, something that you wouldn't be able to do without an external monitor too easily. And then just carrying the iPad around is so much easier. It's so much lighter. And it's something that a lot of people already have so they won't have to spend extra money on additional equipment. So overall, it's just a really great app, something that I've found super useful and that has made working um, you know, from outside of my house or office a really, really great experience. So overall, you know, I am a huge fan of using this app while I'm working from either abroad or while I'm working from a coffee shop. Just when I, whenever I'm outside of my house and I don't have a monitor or something like that and I'm just working from my laptop, it's really nice to be able to leverage something that I already have instead of buying, you know, like a portable monitor. I've seen some people buying those nowadays. You know, the tablet itself is much lighter. It's something I already have and it serves multiple purposes. So if I want to use it as an e-reader or just as something to watch movies, I can still use it for that, but it also has the added benefit now that I can use it as an additional monitor. So especially if you have, you know, one of the full-size iPads or even one of those big iPad Pros, that would be a great screen to work from. So this app really helps turn any iPad that you have, even older ones, into a really versatile tool for getting more work done uh, while you're on the road. As far as pricing, uh, the app itself on the on the iOS is $15 from the App Store, which I think is super affordable considering what you're getting from this. It's a one-time purchase. And then they have desktop apps for Mac and PC that you can download for free. So it's really cool that not only is this really useful for Macs, but if you're a PC user, you can still kind of get, get use out of this app as well. This works especially well for my wife and I. She's a PC, I'm a Mac, so we're able to both kind of use the extra screen real estate whenever we need it. But overall, this, this has become one of my indispensable apps when I'm traveling and working. And uh, you know, I've had a really great experience using it so far. The performance has been great, the price is good, and it's just a really nice extra tool to have with me when I'm out and about. So I definitely recommend checking out Duet if you happen to have an iPad. If there's any other apps such as Duet or some that you've found to have performed better, I'd love to hear about them. Please go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give us a like, and please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.